Where does mind begin? Do any other terrestrial things have minds? If so, which ones? When did they come on the scene? Do other types of terrestrial animals have minds? If so, which ones? What about birds with their bird brains? What of fish with their lifeless eyes? What of snakes with their robotic, mindless seeming reflexes? What of spiders, ants, bees? Aren't interest things that minds have? Doesn't communication involve some mental state? What of, what of worms? What of jellyfish? What of amoeba, paramecia, bacteria? What of plants? Oh, come on, aren't we going overboard? Are we being parochial and prejudicial to exclude trees and plants from having minds? Why shouldn't purposeful growth count as a kind of planning and realization of self-interest? Why shouldn't knowledge and perception be ascribed to plants? Do rocks and fires have minds after all? Are the right answer is just a matter of cultural habit or choice? Are they relative to what one feels for or cares about? Are they just a matter of what stance one decides to take up toward other beings in the universe? What is one asking exactly? What is mind? Is one so sure of what one means? Is it so evident what mind is? If the meaning of the question is unclear, how can we even begin to answer it? But don't we need definitions to answer a serious question about what individuals have minds? So how are we to attack our problem? How are perceptual states that represent specific particulars and attributes in the environment produced, given that the proximal stimulations to which the system has immediate causal access do not determine either the environmental entities that the perceptual states represent as being there, or the perceptual states that do the representing.